Right, so we've come up here. I think if you go through, if you go this route, we, I'm going up that way, but if you go this way, I think this will weave down through the woods and take you back to the loop. That's what I think that does. Everything links up with that loop. But I'd go up this way because I didn't want to go to the hill fort. It's a lovely view, isn't it? Lovely view. They could have gone that way down, see? I saw somebody a minute ago. I did see somebody. I'm videoing. Live video. Look at that tree. It's saying hi. Yeah, that'll go down. Back to the loop. We probably haven't got very far. Don't care. We're all right though. That's about off one. There's no panic. No panic, go. I put the top back on. Might even need me coat in a minute. My arms had a couple hours of uh, exposure. There's another way there. Look. Right, we had a lovely, lovely walk. There's a lot to do up here. Obviously, I've done all, I know I've not all of it, I've done a load down there for years, but I've started to explore the other side as well. It's got its own interesting things about it. Um, you know, it's got some interesting things about it. Here we've got all our views, of course. We've got Crook's Peak right over there, which I was up a week or so ago. I don't know exactly when I went up, I can't remember. Um, I know the week tomorrow I went out with Georgia for a walk. That was hot. And um, I did uh, the River Axe, on the Friday I did the River Axe walk. But it's not quite two weeks since I did Crook's Peak. I can't remember, I've got the dates all at home. It could have been the 13th. I'm not sure. But this is the hill fort. And the bosom of the hill fort... <laughs> I'll just show you. I don't want to get anyone in it, but just through there, that's what there's a dip. That's the bosom of Rowbarrow Hill Fort. Rowbarrow Iron Age Hill Fort. And uh, <coughs> somewhere along here, where well, there used to be a stile you could get over and do the secret steps. A bit further up, I think. I think you have to go around the corner now to do it. Where you go suddenly down. Oh, 
It's like a sun trap there as well, I reckon. It looks like it's been terraced on purpose, like what the Romans would do to put, grow grapes. Definitely looks terraced. Although that could be quarries, quarried. It's gorgeous, and look at the green. And you get the different greens on the row barrow from the pine trees and other trees. And the, and the happy valley goes up there somewhere. Up there, well, I don't know exactly. We've done that though, we won't be going that way today. Yeah, we won't be going that way today. Isn't it gorgeous this time of year though? Look at all this blossom. Now I won't be sneezing yet. I don't actually sneeze when I'm out in it. Look. No, I don't actually sneeze when I'm out in it. Because it's pure. It's pure. North side of the fort, along the palisade, defence humps. I usually go the other way, but I'm going this way today. Yeah, I've got a feeling I've got to come out um, down there as well. I'll explore that another day. I'm not doing the secret steps today because it'll take me down to the base of Dobry Warren, which I don't want to do. Yeah, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Um, but. As you know, as it approaches the, the late afternoon, I prefer, when I was getting um, cheddar buses, I used to like getting the four or five o'clock bus. <sighs> I rarely got the three, but the four or five was a good one. And I knew there was always a six if I missed it. Now this one, there isn't a bus now. Um, until four o'clock. The last bus at the moment until then is gone. About uh, just after one o'clock that bus goes. Uh, 
and uh, basically I'm allowing myself time to get to Sanford I think now as I've said before There's always the bus I can get from the Nelson Arms, but yes, that's only just down the road now. You know, you've got like a two hour wait from now. This, is a, this isn't a straightforward way, it's an ankle breaking territory, so I've got to be careful. But I am doing it. But it's not the most straightforward way down. So it'll be very, very bumpy, everyone. But I'm actually walking on the hill fort of Rowbarrow Warren, the Iron Age hill fort, and this is one of those great big. There's Vallums down there, Vallums, and this is the, the big defensive palisade, and it would have had they would have used the trees to build the fencing. It does get better in a minute. That bit back there is probably the bumpiest. That bit back there. Yeah, we've got to go all the way down there. So I'm going to take. I'm going to turn off now. Take a picture. And right in front of us is the campsite that we will be passing at some point, but we won't be going through Knoll Wood this time. Even though it was alright. Over in that. Oh god it's beautiful now. I really didn't think it was going to turn out like this you know. It's not over hot. The wind now is welcoming. Right I've just walked down through there folks on the side of the hill fort. This would be all the place where they, where they would have their settlements and their huts and all that. And their kitchens and... And this, this would have high fencing on it and they would cut tall trees down to build the high palisade fencing. And down here you've got your vallums. This is a really, really good example of a hill fort, this one. If you want an example, this is a really good one. Right on our doorstep. And of course, what they want to do over at Worldry Wood, they want theirs to look like this, see? Banwell's got a plateau type hill fort, so the only thing that makes it stick out is its tall tree. But as you can see, I don't know if the Iron Age would have quarried all these stones or whether humans put them down. I don't really know, but it's looking very lush and green and basically <coughs> there's no animals out, I've noticed. No sheep, no cows. I don't know why that is. I'm sorry if it's shaky and jerky. It's not just me not holding the camera properly. It's very uneven. Now we're evening up for a little bit. When we get round here a bit, I'm just going to stop, have a drink of water, and check the time. We're, we, we're, most of the time I do do the other side because it's less bumpy. This is a little bit harder work up the top there. But I wouldn't be surprised if there aren't snakes in the grass there. And out sunbathing down there where they know humans won't bother them. So we're coming up to the lower end of the hill fort now. And you've just got to take your mind back 3,000 years, if not longer. Um, and how they achieved using natural structure and geology to their advantage. And obviously adding stones to the ramps, the ramparts of the hill fort. Look how lush it looks. Just imagine, if, you can just imagine all their huts and their animals here 
and men sharpening their swords and spears. I don't know if they had swords back then, but uh, I'm not sure really. And there would have been deer to hunt, bear, wolf. Don't forget back then. I think the saber-toothed tiger was probably gone. It would be too hot for it. And the woolly mammoth. Yeah, this is a lovely walk. Like I say, I normally walk the other side a lot of the time. And I walk down in the warren, deep down in the warrens. And I weave in and out of the trees. And I just love, I love this place. This is more of a peaceful place to me now, although I won't knock my lovely Worldbury Woods because there are places where it is still peaceful. Um, I don't know if they'll ever get there. These council people want to get the hill fort looking like this over there. I don't know. The thing is, you can see it's a hill fort. You don't really need to bash it around a lot. You can see it's a hill fort. Wilbury sticks out for miles. It was a powerful whole fort. Right, what I'm going to do now, folks, is stop, check the time, and I'm going to have a. Are you going to have a piece of cheese or do you want to wait till you get at the top? Uh, it'd be better if you wait till you've climbed up and doing the upper path. Okay, over and out, Sheila. There's a lovely hill fort and some lovely trees. And it's beautiful here and we all love it.